Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a hard surface modeling exercise and I've picked this dormer because I think it's a nice looking object. If you want to follow along you can download a project file where the reference image is already in there so please make sure to check the video description for the download link and if you open the project file everything will already be set up so we can get started right away. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start with a flat object and I'm going to use a disk here. I'll set the orientation to minus Z and we don't need any disk segments. And let's just scale this up. And then move it down. Scale it up a bit further. So I think we're getting there. Let's see. I need to scale this up a little bit further. Three forty five, getting closer. Could still be a little bit bigger. Let's do 360. And I'm going to use a lot more rotation segments for this. Let's do maybe 144. And that's looking pretty good because we have edges here at this edge of the roof. And we're going to get rid of a lot of this geometry again, so it's not going to be a high poly object. All right, so let's make this editable. And I'm going to select all the polygons and then I'm going to use extrude inner. So hit I on the keyboard to bring up the extrude inner tool. And then we can start extruding this. And if you get close it's a bit difficult to fine-tune the extrusion but that's not a problem you can always hold down the alt key and adjust the offset over here so let's bring this down to about here use extrude inner again bring this to about here and again fine-tune it So something like this. And now we can select the polygons here all the way to the center. And let's select the ones down here as well. Hit UI on the keyboard to invert the selection. And let's just make sure to deselect these ones. Delete the other polygons and deselect everything and optimize the object. I'm also going to delete this point down here. We need a couple more edges here. So let's grab the loop cut tool and add a few edges here. Let's put one about here. I think that should be fine. And now we can select these polygons here and delete them. And I'm going to slide this point over a little bit. Optimize the object. And let's see down here, I'm going to slide this point over a little bit to the edge. And let's just make a straight cut down like this. Delete these polygons. And I'm just going to melt all of this into a single polygon. We need to optimize again. 
and let's get rid of all of these points here. Actually, let's just delete these four points. We don't need any curvature here, so we might as well delete this one. First of all, though, I'm going to slide this point over a bit to the edge here. And let's make a cut straight up to here. And using the polygon pen, I'm going to weld these two points. And let's just delete this one. And over here, I'm going to slide this point over to the edge of the window, like so. And this one is fine. Let's just slide this one over to about here. So now we can select these edges here and extrude them down, scale them to zero. And I'll move these down to about here and extrude them again. And I'm also going to extrude this edge over to about here. So now we've created the basic outline and you can see the edges here when I rendered the object. That's because I have switched on the cell renderer. I'll just switch that off for a second here. And you can add that in the render settings if you right click. So if I delete that again, if you right click, you can add the cell renderer here. And I use color and edges. But for now, I'm going to switch this off again. So right now we have the outline and we have all the edges in place to create the main shapes of this object here. So now we can start extruding geometry to, to get our 3D version of the Stormer. So I'm going to select these polygons here now. And I'll extrude these back a little bit. Maybe minus three. So that's creating the window sill, and we're also getting the extrusion where the roof starts. And I'm going to deselect these polygons here. And let's extrude these ones back another three centimeters. And then let's deselect these ones and this one here. And let's see, I'm going to extrude these back a bit. Let's do maybe minus two. And let's check the render settings. I also have ambient occlusion switched on here, so you can do that as well if you want to. And like the cell renderer, if you open the uh, render settings, you can right click here and add ambient occlusion from the list. Okay, so let's have a look. Did I extrude these? Yes, I did. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is use extrude inner. Let's just extrude these polygons a little bit to about here and extrude again, maybe minus three. Use extrude inner again, and I'm going to extrude these polygons to about here. And let's extrude these back, maybe minus 10. And I'm going to move these back a little bit further. Let's move them to uh, 40 on the z-axis, maybe. So that's looking good. Uh, we can get rid of these edges here and of these ones. We can also delete these polygons here, optimize the object, 
and I think we should also get rid of the polygons at the center so let's select the polygons here delete those I'm going to optimize again and I'm just going to select all the points here and put them to zero and change the size to zero as well and we can get rid of the polygons here and here okay so that's not looking too bad next we're going to extrude the roof section and I think we need this area here let's just go and check that because we've already got the extrusion for this part here so I selected these edges here I can hit UF and select these polygons I'm going to extrude these forward maybe two or three centimeters and use the ring selection tool to deselect these polygons and extrude again let's do another two deselect these polygons let's extrude these maybe three centimeters and again deselect these ones and I'm going to extrude the top another three centimeters maybe So that's looking pretty good. So let's see. We need to get rid of these polygons here. So just select them and delete them. Optimize the object. select this edge, extrude it back, let's go back a step, select this edge again, we need to extrude this three centimeters, so D for extrude, and extrude this back, and make sure you have the edge angle set to minus 90 degrees here, deselect everything, optimize the object, And down here I'm going to select all of these edges and extrude them back again we need an offset of three centimeters and an edge angle of minus 90 degrees and now we can again deselect everything and optimize the object to select all the edges on the outside here and let's extrude those back we can move these back scale them down and then snap them to here and next I want to optimize the geometry a little bit we can get rid of all of the edges down here so I'm going to select them and dissolve them let's go to point mode I'm also going to do some polygon reduction here by welding these points to the corner and we can get rid of these edges by dissolving them
and using the polygon pen I'm going to weld these points here select these points weld them to the corner rid of a ton of edges here so we can select all of these ones dissolve them these ones and these ones we can also dissolve these edges here and all of these ones these ones and these ones and these ones and we still have four n-gons here just go and check where these are oh they're over here we can just delete these polygons we don't need these anyway optimize the object again so it's all quads now And I want to even out the geometry a little bit because we've removed some edges. We're not getting an even curve up here anymore. And in order to space the edges apart more evenly, I'm going to use the HB even distribution script from the HB modeling bundle. I have it docked here. I also have a shortcut for that. And I can select these edges here. Just going to select all of these. All the way down to here for now and I'm going to deselect these edges here and then just run the script and you can see that the edges have been distributed a lot more evenly and I'm also going to select the ones up here and run that script again If you do a lot of modeling, you should really get this HP modeling bundle script because it enables you to improvise a lot more and do stuff like this, which would otherwise be a lot more difficult and time consuming. Now down here, I'm also going to even out the geometry a little bit by selecting these edges here and then running that script again. Same here. So that's looking a lot better. And if you want to, you can also straighten, straighten out these edges again. Not really necessary, but I am pretty picky about my meshes. So I usually spend the extra time to, to make everything look nice, even though it may not be necessary. And then we can just dissolve these edges here. So if we put this in a symmetry object, you can see this is already looking pretty nice. I'll just undo that. Or maybe not. Let's just redo that. 
because the next thing we're going to do is uh, the window frames and I'll make the symmetry object editable so this is our dormer let's delete this one I'm going to dissolve these edges at the center and then use close polygon hole to close these two holes I'm going to select these two polygons and I'm going to split them off as a separate object delete the original polygons let's make the dormer invisible so these will be our uh, window frames and I'll just make a cut at the center delete these points go to model mode and use axis center and I'll move the axis to the center of the cinema 4d grid so we can mirror this over later so let's go to polygon mode select all the polygons and use extrude inner and I'll use an offset of maybe four delete this polygon select these points I'll just move them over to zero and let's create a cut here and let's add one above and I'm just going to select these points maybe let's move these down a little bit and I'll change the height to three centimeters and then I'm going to select these two edges and use edge cut with two subdivisions I'll just dissolve these edges here and then can select these two and bevel them and we need to bevel them with an offset of 1.5 to get the same width as the horizontal bar here and I'll just make some cuts like so and we also need to connect the geometry up here and I'm only going to cut this bottom edge of the top part of the frame and then we can select these edges here and use the slide tool and if I hold down control I can clone these edges I'm going to clone these in and then use the polygon pen to weld these points and I'm using the slide tool to slide these points over a little bit something like this and over here same procedure as before select these edges and use the slide tool to clone these edges weld the points and then just slide these over can get rid of these polygons here and over here I'll just make a cut about here and then select this edge bevel it make two cuts like this and I'll cut up 
to here and up to here and I'll just weld this point over to here and I think what I'll do to get rid of this end gun is I'll just select these two points and connect them and we get this triangle here I'm going to remove that by connecting these edges and sliding this point over so now we can delete these polygons here Let's use a symmetry object. I'll make this editable. And we can get rid of this edge here by dissolving it. Let's get rid of this one as well. And then select all the polygons. I'm going to extrude these forward let's do maybe five or so the depth is not that important because most of this frame will not be seen we just need need it to be deep enough to be able to add the window panes and now we can ring select these polygons here and we need to manually select a couple more Let's extrude these forward, maybe two centimeters. Okay, something like this. I'm also going to move these forward a little bit to maybe about here. And that's looking pretty nice. So the last thing we need is the windows and for this I'm going to reuse the dormer. Let's go to polygon mode. I'm just going to select the polygons here at the bottom and split them off. So these will be our windows or let's call this glass. I'll switch that to solo mode center the axis let's give those a depth of maybe 1.5 let's go to polygon mode select all the polygons quick extrude them up delete these polygons and I'll just select the points at the top switch off solar mode let's move these up like so Let's just check the back. And I think the depth is fine. I'm not going to move these forward or backward. It looks okay. And there we go. That is our finished dormer. I hope you liked this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again soon.